action. Hi, I'm Ben Chica. And I'm Renalini. And we're here to give you some tips on your country issues research. So one of the best places to go is your government's website. Uh, here you can look for transcripts of messages, memos, speeches, press releases, whatever they give you. And it's a reliable source. You can also include that information into your speeches uh, or your amendments. Another way to go is if you're not able to find too much in your government website is looking up important people in your country. Of course, look up your prime minister or president, depending on the type of government. But if they haven't said much, you can look up your minister of foreign affairs, your ambassador to the United Nations, as well as ministers in departments which relate to your topic. So environment, energy, war, etc. Uh, you should also look up your country in important organizations, such as relevant UN organizations. You probably already found these when you were doing your issue research. So just look, go to their websites and look up your country. You'll find a lot of good reports that will help you with your research. Uh, you should also look up your country in regional organizations, such as the EU, European Union, uh, the African Union, the ASEAN, I don't even know what that is. but. Um, if you can get to their website and read your country's profile and organizations work regarding globalization, you'll get a lot of perspective. Another thing that you can try is if you're a smaller country or you're less significant and you're not finding a lot of reports on your country, look at what kind of groups you'd fit into. Is your country developed? Is your country developing? What continent is your country in? Is your country one of uh, the Commonwealth countries or is it one of the more rapidly developing economies? If you look up your country and this type of a demographic, then you'll find more information re regarding your region that will still relate to your country and give you some idea of how the rest of the world sees your region and your country. Yeah, you should also look up your country and the topic in leading news sources such as New York Times, BBC, CNN, any reputable sources. And this works better if you have like a more powerful country, so keep that in mind. That's a great way to get news. And if you're still struggling with that, play with some of the keywords that you've given, um, you've been given. So don't try to look up the entire question that you're debating because you're probably not going to get a lot of information. We we can talk from experience there. Yeah. Um, but try to look up your country and the topic on Google. Sometimes you don't get too much. I was Macedonia once, and I did not get a lot for deforestation. But oftentimes you will get um, a lot of information if it's a significant topic which most countries know about and are involved in. Yeah. Additionally, you should look up your country and maybe, yeah, probably you should look up your topic and then your country on YouTube. Um, as many major organizations and like experts will have videos published there. So it's a great way to get a lot of good information uh, quickly and you can always uh, include that in your speech as well. A great way to look at, um, again, get more perspective on how your country is assessed on your topic is looking up key websites of NGOs. So if you're doing a human rights topic, try looking at Amnesty International or Human Rights Watch. If you're doing, if you want to understand your economy or your people, skim through some important indicators from things like the CIA World Factbook. You don't usually have to research your country in depth, but if you're doing a topic relating to the economy or to your country's people, then looking at a source like this can really help you understand your country first, which will help you then logically connect it to your country's position. So yeah, we hope those tips help. Yep. Good luck researching. <laughs>